Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the last three part of question number six. Again, you have to solve these questions by using a identity. First of all, let's solve this part. Again, there is no square, so if I see this number, so this is close to eighty, and this is again close to eighty. So this number can be written as eighty. Minus two, and this number can be written as eighty plus two. So if I consider eighty as a and two as b, so this is a minus b, and similarly this is a plus b. So we know that a minus b into a plus b is equals to a square minus b square. So if I have to solve this, I have to use this identity. So this number should be equal to a square, which is eighty a square minus b square, which is two square. And we know that how to find the square of eighty? We have to find the square of eighty eight, and we have to double the number which is present in this number. So we have to write two zeros minus and two square is four, and now we have to subtract. So ten minus four is six because we have to take one carry here. It is nine. It is three and six. So this should be the answer. Now this is square. So we have to obviously use the formula for a plus b whole square. This eight point nine can be written as eight plus point nine, but Again, point nine squaring point nine will be difficult, so it's better to write this as nine minus point one because subtracting point one from nine it will uh, give us eight point nine. So this is the best way, or uh, because here squaring one will be easy. So if I consider this as a. This has b, so this will become a minus b whole square, and this is again we know equals to a square minus two ab plus b square. So I have to, if I have to solve this, I have to solve according to this formula. So nine minus point one whole square, which is our a minus b whole square, should be equals to a square, which is nine square minus two. Into a into b and plus b square, so that should be point one whole square. Now we have to further solve this. Nine square, we know that nine into nine is eighty one, and this is nine into two is eighteen into one should be eighteen, but here one decimal, so I have to put one decimal after count counting from the right, so one decimal. Now this is point one whole square, so one into one is one. But I am multiplying point one with point one, so there will be two decimal, two digits after the decimal. So I have to count two one. There is no other decimal, so I can write it zero. So this will be one zero point. So this squaring this will give this. Now according to board mass, we have to first of all add, and for adding. Positive and positive number are added because this is positive eighty one. When there is nothing written, this is considered positive. So positive eighty one and this will give eighty one point zero one. And this is minus one point eight. Now we have to subtract. So after decimal, there are two digits. So I also converted this into two digit. Now I have to subtract one minus. Zero. This is one. Now this is ten. Minus eight is two. Point here it will become eighty. So eighty minus one is seventy nine. So seventy nine point two one should be the answer. And at the last again this is not a square. So again I have to write this as uh, this should be. Ten point five. This should have been ten point five 
multiplied by 9.5. So this can be written as 10 plus 0.5 and this can be written as 10 minus 0.5. So 10 plus 0.5 is 10.5 and 10 minus 0.5 is 9.5. Again, if I consider this value as A and this value as B, so this is A plus B and this is A minus B and we know that this is equal to A minus A square minus B square. So this complete value which is A plus B into A minus B should be equal to A square minus B square and our A is 10 and our B is 0.5 and 10 square is 100 and 5 square is 25 but this will be 0.25 because we are multiplying 0.5 with 0.5 5 into 5 is 25 but there will be 2 decimals so we have to put decimal after counting 2 from the right now we have to subtract this if I make this as 100.00 minus so this is 00, 0 and this is 2.25 so 10 minus 5 is 5 this is 9 minus 2 is 7 and this is 9 and 9 so this should be the answer here so this is how you can solve these questions if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in mathematics you can contact us through email or you can register us at truemaths.com or you can directly call us on the given below number thank you